Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk a little bit today about or recapping about the uh, final episode of Picard, which is the final season, so now it's pretty much ending. Uh, with um, it looks like with all the TNG cast basically more than anything else. Uh, quite interesting to see. I, I was... Part of me saw that they were trying to put the nostalgia aspect more than anything else uh, in this pers in this final season. Definitely in the final episode as well, too. Uh, you know, with uh, the Enterprise D, that was great to see that. Mind you, sorry, uh, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, please do not skip this video uh, completely. Uh, and, and you can come back and we can discuss anyways. Uh, but with that, uh, it was interesting to see. Uh, I was kind of a little... I don't want to say confused, but still sort of confused in a ways. Um, because one of the things with that, you know, the whole premise of the show was basically Jack Crusher being part of a Borg because of uh, Picard's DNA having some Borg aspects. So Jack Crusher being Borg in a ways. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the fact that, you know, we see the Borg Queen, but like sort of the Borg Queen sort of decrepit and like, you know, wasting away. Uh, which brings up the question of like, wait, I'm a little confused. What happened in season three of Picard? Because wasn't the Borg Queen there in season three? And I'm like, wait, that doesn't make sense. But then again, I realized in season three, that was more of a case where uh, that Borg Queen was captured by that timeline of the uh, of uh, of the Federation. Uh, where in this case, this is more of the Borg Queen. I'm still a little confused because the Borg Queen, I thought, had died as well, too through via Voyager towards the end of it. Seems like she wasn't. And then, like, then there was also the case of, you know, uh, what's her name that I thought overtook became the new Borg Queen at that point. And now, but they refer back to this Borg Queen and she's, like, all decrepit and, like, she's basically trying to create a new evolved Borg through evolution of procreation, basically, versus assimilation, it seems like. Um... And that one, I was like, I was like, uh, a little bit, and to the point where, like, I mean, if the Borg and changelings, the new changelings, the evolved changelings or mutated changelings, uh, they created an uneasy alliance at that point. But the thing was, is like, why wouldn't the Borg just try to assimilate them and then you know go off, go forward with that from that perspective? I don't know. Uh, so towards the end, they were able to like essentially identify all the changelings uh, or most of, anyways via transport technology, by removing the genetic sequences that were embedded in everyone uh, um, via the Borg and changing of course. But I think we saw a fan favorite uh, that I think none of us uh, kind of hope people were foreseeing basically was Seven and Nine uh, being promoted to captain. Uh, you know, coming a long way, being a Borg drone on Voyager to being a crew of Voyager, now uh, to being a Ranger, now being... Starfleet first officer now being an actual captain. The question is, is like it'd be great to see if there's a new series derived off of this. Basically, uh, some people are calling it maybe this should be kind of like a Star Trek legacy. Uh, basically, where in this case you had the original Enterprise and you had the next generation. The thing is, if, again, spoilers if you haven't seen this. Uh, the new ship that the ship that basically uh, Seven and Nine was first officer of the Titan was rechristened to be Enterprise G. Um, so it would be interesting to see, like, you know, call it Star Trek Legacy at that point, quite honestly. You know, you have Rafi as the first officer, uh, Seven to Nine being the captain, uh, you know, Jordy LaForge's daughter being uh, a helmsman, and then, of course, Jack Crusher being assigned to this and Fast Track and being sort of a special advisor to them, basically, almost like a Deanna Troy type of thing more than anything else, because the thing is, he does have some sensibility of like knowing things, basically at that point. But the other thing that brought me up, or brought up another point, which I was trying to trying to get, I don't want to say lost it, but like could have been an interesting facet or plot line twist in a ways was Seven and Nine was Borg. She still has her implants. A lot of it was removed, but she still has a, sort of that cortex in there. She could have theoretically heard the Borg, and in reality, Jack could still control that, technically speaking. If she has these Borg implants, Jack should be able to control her as well, too. So, it's it's an interesting... That would have been an interesting aspect to show, to say the least. So, the question is now, is the Borg, they're pretty much scattered, lost, and about, and whatever, maybe. No Borg Queen, it seems like. 
The question is, is there a Borg Queen? I don't know. Or is there going to be a new Borg Queen? Actually, you know what? Honestly, it would have been interesting to see if the Borg Queen, the old Borg Queen, taking Seven and Nine and kind of having her replaced, being replaced as the new Borg Queen. Basically putting Seven and Nine as the new Borg Queen. Jack being the Borg King. Uh, that would have been interesting to see as well, too. That would have been an interesting aspect and, you know, kind of led to another season of Picard. Of course, no John Luke Picard and such, but, you know, like, it would have been interesting. Um, the other aspect as well, too, is Data now being back, uh, or Brent Spiner being back with Data, uh, but Data being more of a, a, an amalgamation of both Data, B4, and also Lore. That's, I don't know if they're going to explore that in any of the timelines. The question is, is like, now this with 709 being the new captain with Jack Crusher and Rafi and such, Will this have tie-ins to Star Trek Discovery because they are far into the future? Could they potentially have some intermingling with that, in that show at that point as well, too? I don't know. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that works out, quite honestly. Um, but like I said, I kind of liked it that the fact they re rechristened the Titan to Enterprise G. But I also do like the fact that, of course, 709 was made a captain. But I think the plot line of the Borg Queen being decrepit... It, it, there's a little bit of holes here and there, quite honestly. But honestly, it could have been something, some other aspect. Other other aspects is like, you know what? They could have also had the aspect of, like I said, 7 and 9. But also Data being Lore in his body. It's like, remember, Lore was at one point trying to lead the, un, the, the Borg collective that were separated from the rest of the main Borg collective, that sub-collection. And, you know, Lore, or in this case, Data... Seeing that, seeing having Bill is like, you know what, I could actually lead them. That would have been also great too at that point too, if like they put that into the plot line, honestly. But I guess this is one of those things where they need to they needed to essentially with this last episode end things quickly, clear up a lot of not clear up a lot of things, but end things quickly by just mashing it all together. It almost reminds me a little bit of like the Revenge of the Sith, basically, where like they try to get everything in one one uh, one thing, one movie, basically. But they try to squash them all into there versus having to, like, you know, pan it out. They could have panned it out a little bit. Now, the question is, is, like, will this, you know, with, will this, asp you know, with this new change with, you know, and 7 and 9 being the new captain and such, will there be new, will there be a show dependent on this, basically? I mean, honestly, it'd be great if there was a show created off of this, basically. If there's that spinoff. I, I don't know if that's the case, honestly. I would like to see that happen, basically, honestly. Um... Um, from that, I mean, honestly, I, could this be the final last generation? I mean, you know, like you had the next generation. So this one's going to, you know, the, the episode was called the last generation. Uh, I don't know if this is a case where, you know, can this be something new? But with that, I don't know. Let you let me know your thoughts uh, with that. And with that, I'll leave it at that. Uh, leave some comments in the comments section. I do read my comics. I do respond to them. I do reply back to them I, when I when they when, when they warrant a response. Uh, and also, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like my videos, uh, I might talk some more stuff about Discovery when it comes about. I'm not a fan of it per se. Um, the other one, Lost Worlds. I got to look at that one. I haven't watched that series yet. Uh, that might be my next one to watch at this point. Uh, but with that, I'll leave it at that. Uh, unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed. Until next.